Dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Musaddiq Gohir. In today's video, we will discuss what is Schmidt decomposition in quantum computing. Schmidt decomposition is a method which is used to indicate the entanglement in the bipartite systems. Secondly, Schmidt decomposition is also used to reduce the dynamics or the dimensions of the uh, bipartite or tripartite systems. For bipartite system, uh, if uh, we are dealing with two qubits, it after the reduced dynamics, after applying the Schmidt decomposition, it will convert the two qubit system into a single qubit system by reducing or by removing the degrees of freedom of the uh, one qubit. So let's see how it works. First of all, as I have already told that it is an entanglement indicator for the bipartite quantum systems. Let's suppose we have two subsystems A and B whose Hilbert space spaces are H A and H B respectively. We have a general state, general pure state psi which is which belongs to the composite Hilbert space of A and B then the uh, pure state psi can be written as the product uh, as the sum of orthonormal bases of A and B where U i and V i are orthonormal bases of uh, subsystem A and B respectively where lambda i is the Schmidt coefficient which is uh, which depends on the two conditions such that lambda i is always positive and the sum of the uh, Schmidt coefficients is always equal to 1. Now what we have to do we have to determine the outer product of uh, the that particular state which is a composite state of system A and B so what we will determine here we will find out the composite density matrix of A and B then after we will apply the trace on second qubit as here trace B has been written so we will apply the trace on second qubit which is belo which belongs to Bob so what will uh, trace do it will remove the dynamics of the second qubit it will remove the degrees of freedom of the second qubit and reduce density matrix rho a will be obtained so so after that by achieving the uh, reduced dynamic uh, density matrix for system a we will uh, find its eigenvalues then these non zero eigenvalues are called the schmidt numbers so then in the next step we will determine the schmidt number so schmidt number will define whether the state is entangled or not if schmidt number is equal to 1 then the state is separable or product state if it is greater than 1 then it is entangled it means we have to determine the eigenvalues of the reduced density matrix and then we will see how many non-zero eigenvalues are there if they are if the number of non-zero eigenvalues are equal to 1 then the state is not entangled and if it is greater than 1 then it is entangled to learn it, this uh, algebra let's take a simple example we have a bell state quantum computing students can easily tell that this is a this is an entangled state but we will show here how you can calculate the Schmidt number once you learn the method of calculating the Schmidt number, then you can handle any of the complex quantum states. So, in the first step, we have to determine the outer product of psi and then after we have to apply the trace. So, when we are applying the trace on second qubit, as we are dealing with the bipartite system, so we will sandwich the composite density matrix between 0 and 1 basis as here has been shown. So four terms will be obtained for 0 and the four terms will be obtained for 1. So in the first term uh, you can see that the uh, outer product of 0 1 0 1 has been sandwiched between 0 0 and this is the first and second terms there is a third and fourth term similarly eight terms will be obtained and four terms are sandwiched between 0 0 and the next four terms are sandwiched between 1 1 so in the next step what will you do this 0 will interact with that 1 and that 0 at the first position belongs to a and 1 belongs to b so we have to reduce or we have to remove the degrees of freedom of b so that 0 
will operate on second qubit similarly all other terms will be solved i will uh, manually solve it at the end you will better understand so what will you obtain you will obtain only these two terms will be remained other will be other will be cancelled out due to the orthonormal or orthogonal al basic algebra and uh, it is a density matrix of 2 by 2 as i have already mentioned that schmidt decomposition reduces the dynamics or the dimensions of the systems so this density matrix gives the reduced dynamics of the system a now what we will do we will determine the eigenvalues of that density matrix which are given by so here we have obtained two non-zero eigenvalues which means that the state is entangled as we have already shown that if schmidt number is greater than one then it means state is entangled so what is schmidt number schmidt number are the non-zero eigenvalues so here we have obtained two non-zero eigenvalues which is greater than one hence state is entangled now let's suppose i am taking this term for your better understanding i am taking this term and how it works here you can see that this zero is at position b whereas position one is empty you will suppose that at the position one is identity and second position is zero so zero interacts with one here it has been written and this is zero and this is zero will remain as it is and it has been separate out here similarly in the second term one will take inner product with zero and this is zero will remain as it is so you will obtain one cat zero from the first term and one bra zero from the second term whereas the other two terms are belong belonging to second qubit so by orthogonality condition from here you can see that 0 1 are orthogonal to each other so it will give you 0 so you have determined 0 from the first term similarly you can solve rest of the seven terms to obtain that result only two terms will survive and uh, you can do it very easily so um, i hope so you find it useful and uh, for if there are any questions then type in the comment box i will try my best to answer in a better way so if you like my video kindly subscribe to my channel i will be back with new video enough for today allah hafiz